So it is 9.12. Hey, go get me your list you made, your <laughs> cleaning list. All right, so today we're going to clean Noah's room. So it is bright and early, it's nine o'clock. I've already showered and washed my hair. Um, so I'm actually getting my hot tea, <laughs> my little kettle's still going, so I haven't had any caffeine yet, but we're gonna get Noah's room cleaned up. So he started and I'm super proud of him for doing what he did. He did make a list of things that he was gonna do. Um, he started on those things, but if you've ever, put it over there, I'll message Ryan's mom. Um, if you've ever uh, like organized like and cleaned a big project, um, it can become very overwhelming. Just ignore the mess behind us. <laughs> um, so his list was right here, I don't know if you can see it. It's too bright, I think. There you go, cleaning list. Cleaning. So he did his desk, so he cleaned off his desk. He cleaned his dresser, so he like went through and got rid of all the socks. <laughs> Go grab that bag of socks. Um, and then he cleaned his closet, which was a big thing. These are all the extra socks that didn't have matches. Right here. Yeah, that's a lot of socks. So, um, and then his next project was um, clean the floor, the bed, and the, well, he did the closet, and wash his clothes. Okay, so when he did the other ones, all the other stuff kind of just ended up in the floor. So when you're organizing or cleaning like a big space or trying to like, you know, get everything ready or cleaned or whatever, it usually looks worse before it looks better. Well, for mostly for kids, they can become very overwhelmed in certain projects. So when you see it, you'll see why he became overwhelmed because it feels like everything is just on the floor. So school starts in a month. They go back on September 1st or 2nd. I can't remember, I think it's the first. Um, so it's a little bit less than a month. But um, we did Hannah's room last month, so we're gonna do his room. So that both of the rooms will be kind of ready to go. We're gonna try to keep them up <laughs> throughout the month, and we'll see how that goes. But I'm gonna show you his room, where we're gonna take everything out, minus the furniture, and then we're gonna organize it, get rid of Not stuff. Like Hannah, listen, we took it in the entire thing. We took about part of the bed. Well, I had to clean our carpet. You know, you don't have to clean your carpet. Anyway. So we're, I'm going to let the kids take everything out. I'm going to have my hot tea and clean the kitchen. And they're going to move everything into the living room. And then I'm going to start sorting it. And um, we'll get to cleaning. So let's go. Alright. So it looks pretty bad. But this is... He had cleaned out everything from over in his desk. And it kind of just came out. This is all his stuff from his book bag that I'm going to have to like secretly throw away. Um, he cleaned out all of his drawers. He cleaned up over there. It doesn't look like much, but like he cleaned out his closet. Again, it doesn't look like he did it, but he did do a lot. It's just now a lot left. <laughs> so, yeah. And then when he would start cleaning up, he wanted to like organize. Like he wanted to organize all his cards and I had to like convince him that he didn't have to do that, but he did. So, yep. So now they're gonna pull everything out. That's where he was dedicated at the church. Put it on his desk. Aww. So, yeah. So here we go. Update. It is 11, 13, 9, 10, 11, 9, 11, yeah, two hours, sorry, I haven't had enough caffeine. Um, two hours in, and he's not done pulling everything out of his room. So, I'm all for helping my kids, but they're going to help. Um, 
since I'm going to be doing like the cleaning organizing part, I mean, he will be helping, but I'm going to be doing a lot of it. He's going to have to help. And so he's kind of frustrated that he has to bring everything out. Whatever. Um, so I've cleaned the kitchen a little bit. I've loaded the dishwasher. I haven't finished it. Um, I cleaned off my front door because it was nasty. I'm washing the rug. Um, trying to get some other stuff done. But yeah, I'll show you where we are now. All right, this is what we got so far. He still has about a couple loads that he has to undo, and then we can finally get started. All right, so now we're gonna get the rest of this junk out. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna clean this later, unless the living room gets cleared out. But Noah, come in here and sweep everything from under the bed. We're gonna get the rest of this junk out. We're in full teenage attitude at this moment, about to lose it, but. <laughs> We're going to get all this rest out. You just drag it under there. You've done this before and you pull anything that's in there out. It won't come out. Even when I do it, it'll just go back. Save me. All right, let's get it all out. got everything out the walls have been wiped down the floors have been cleaned I use the Murphy oil soap um, these rooms really need to be painted again before we moved in we painted them we redid the floors because there was carpet um, my kids are arguing in the back just ignore them <laughs> um, but once my oldest moves out we are gonna repaint and redo the floors but since he's still here we don't have to like move every single room out and do them to all of them so once he moves out the kids will be switching rooms so one day this will be Hannah's room but we'll do Zach's room future Noah's room first um, but you can see the stuff that my dad suggested us use on the floors is all coming up like this this is the floor and this is the sealant no the sealer that we put on it and it's all coming up Every bit of this is the sealer that is coming up. Because it looks so bad. So, yeah, so we have to redo that. I mean, years down the road, or whenever Zach decides to move out. But the floors are cleaned, everything's been wiped down. Now we're just gonna go through his toys. His bedding is in the wash, and I need to take a quick break and charge my camera. But we're gonna go through the toys and slowly start moving things back in. into the dining room and he just vacuumed so now I've got 
this carpet cleaner. I've seen a bunch of people use this, so I ordered it on Amazon. I'll post a link so you can find it. Um, it seems to work really well, so definitely if you try a new um, type of carpet cleaner, test a spot that you will not see, um, just so it doesn't ruin your carpet. But. the rug back in which I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna clean it but that's you know it's still the same room with or without the rug um, but everything is clean the floors walls everything is wiped down the sheets and bedding is all clean um, our kids I've shared this before <laughs> this is the top to a water bottle our kids do not sleep underneath their bedding they sleep with like fleece blankets and so you never have to make the bed. You just have to have fold up a blanket, which makes things so much easier. And then you don't have to wash sheets as much. You can just wash either the top blanket every once in a while and then their little um, com little blankets or whatever. Um, his dresser, he just has like his little knickknacks on there. I'm not going to be able to show it in this video because it's going to take about a week, but we're going to do either two shelves on this window or two shelves on this window and we're going to make them um, and I might do a video if you want to see how we do that. Let me know. Give a video a thumbs up or comment. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Uh, this is his little figurine area. And then under his bed, we have all of the, the dress up. We have all of the, I think these are called gems. And then there's a toy bin right there that has toys, which if you can store things under the bed, the more you store like totes and stuff the less that can go under there if that makes sense um but we just have totes i love things in totes it makes it look so much nicer legos pokemon and then these are just like random toys that you can play with um this closet is cleaned out he cleaned this out these are uh clothes that he will grow into that's just a card box his baby blanket and then we're gonna put all of his shoes in there uh, but everything is cleaned. Uh, we did clean out his desk. We got this from a relative, but um, I just painted it. So he's got books and um, like color and stuff right there. And this is just like where he keeps some stuff. And then I just made him some stickers with the, um, the cricket. It just needs to be wiped down. And that's it. So now it's clean. Well, we put the carpet down. Yep, I'm gonna bring the carpet in here and then I'll clean it. What do you think? Um, it so my desk, so my sh the carpet is 97 percent. Okay, what do you think about the room? Um, it's good. Over there, I'm gonna put all my drawings over there, like I love everything I'm gonna draw. Okay. Right now, I just I drew. Um, but doesn't it feel good to have a clean room? No. 
It doesn't feel good yet. The carpet's not in here. But I'm saying it feels good that it's cleaned, right? Yeah. Can you say thank you, Mom? Thank you. Can you Mom, say I love uh, you? Mommy. What? Sorry, Mom, are you going to do a video in the closet? Like, put the camera in the closet? No. <laughs> okay. It's all done. Yeah. Let's go get the rug and bring it in here. Okay, the rug. Let's bring the rug in and then we'll clean it. Mommy. All right. So I'm packing it up. They're going to cut down a tree. Matthew came home and he was like, oh, he's like semi hoarderish And, ow, that hurts. Um, I already have to keep the Batman pillow. Like, he's like, all right, you just have to keep the pillow. You have to keep the pillow. So I'm not letting him see anything else. He already saw that. And he was like, we're not buying another one in six weeks. I said, I'm not. Noah hasn't played soccer for a year. I don't know if he's going to get into it, but you don't need a soccer goal to practice anyway. So... Packing it up, taking a goodwill the same day. Feeling good. <laughs> I'm getting this out of the house right now.